today I'm going to help your head understand your heart more easily. I'm Dr. Sada Palam. I review medical lectures so that you can find the right lecture as per your need. Well, today I'm going to be reviewing lectures on heart, anatomy, embryology, and histology. Well, these are important topics. Uh, even if you're going for USMLE or NEET or you're an undergraduate student. So uh, how am I going to go about this uh, video is that first I'm going to talk about what are the good lectures generally for everyone, especially the undergraduate students. Then I'm going to talk about what are the important good videos for uh, students who are going to give USMLE because this is really high yield. And then finally I'm going to talk about the important topics for NEET and also for you know 11th and 12th students because you don't really have to do too much and I don't want you to get stuck in a very difficult lecture. When you go to medical school you suddenly realize that uh, well right sided heart is not exactly on the right and left is not exactly on the left and it's very confusing so it's a good idea to unlearn what you have learned before by learning from the plastic model by uh, human anatomy education Dr. Akram Jaffer 12 minute lecture he will give you a good orientation and also tell you different parts of the heart on a plastic model very good idea to do this first rather than directly going on to the cadaver so now go to the cadaver do it from anatomy dissection there are four videos around um, 40 minutes a little less than that very good job I think she's done a very very good job then go to the surface marking by Dr. Yusuf, uh, surface marking of the heart, that is also a very good lecture. Coming to the pericardium, now the pericardium, do it in a short and a good manner in four minutes by Ken Hub. After doing Ken Hub, which talks about blood supply, innovation, everything, you go to the mnemonics given by Oxy MBBS. There are several mnemonics, some for borders and surfaces of the heart. And uh, one for a posterior surface, what comes between posterior surface of the heart and the T5 to T8 vertebra. Now these are important questions for NEAT especially and of course the USMD can also ask these. So do these. And there are also other uh, mnemonics in heart that Oxy MBBS talks about. Pretty good. I like it. Now coming to the blood supply. Well blood supply has been best explained, really the best explained by um, the noted anatomist it's really good uh, I, there are a lot of things even i learned uh, seeing that i really understood why those names are given to the vessels why two names why so it was a really good lecture after doing noted anatomist i feel a lot of students have problem understanding the three dimensional arrangement of the blood vessels in the heart so do the ninja nerd science he talks about the vessels in a flowchart manner which is very useful and makes it very easy I think these two topics together if you do for the blood supply it's really perfect now coming to embryology uh, a lot of students find it very confusing and uh, it will found, make a foundation for your congenital heart diseases so it's a good idea to do it well and it is particularly important for US Emily going students so I think for an embryology a thousand words are not as good as a good animation which is well described so I think uh, you must do the heart embryology by uh, Bob Ackland I don't know how exactly you pronounce it it's pretty good especially for USMLE students you all must do cardiac USMLE first aid for cardiac embryology it's pretty good there is a somebody called Natural Natural who has uploaded it you could uh, see the video on YouTube. There is one more video, sort of a trick or a mnemonic by 100 lyrics, especially for USMLE going students, but generally for anybody. Uh, um, easy way to remember heart embryology der derivatives by 100 lyrics. It's good. You could use that. So again, I have mentioned uh, two particularly for USMLE and one good animation, which is really good. You all could use that. Having said that, I cannot... Uh, not mention Dr. Bean's lectures. There are good about four of them and uh, more than two hours. They are slow and they're very, very good. If you have the mind and the time to do it, go ahead with it. But you know, if you're really racing against time and uh, you do not want to spend too much time on embryology, too much time and mind, then I think the ones that I've suggested are really very good. You all must try that. 
Now coming to the histology, I want it to be basic. I want you all to know, understand the cardiac muscles, how it branches, the intercalated disc, the striations. You have heard it a billion times, but I want somebody to explain it to you. How exactly does it look like so that when you see it, you just know, okay, this I know. So uh, it is uh, histology by Wendy Riggs. There's a 16 minute video, but please skip the last six minutes. It's pretty gross. <laughs> she talks about uh, tortoise, uh, heart I didn't feel good uh, looking at it up to y'all skip the last six minutes and coming to his Hindi lectures for heart uh, dissection there's a very good one by a medicine legend y'all could definitely use that now for the neat undergraduate students UG neat it's a good idea to do dr. SK Singh there's a video which is labeled as cardiac cycle though it talks about anatomy and embryology as well just the very basic which you need to know for your exam please don't go mad doing a lot of other things and if you don't have time it's a good lecture use it also there's a one minute animation for uh, cardiac blood flow uh, this one you could do this uh, pretty good especially for the undergraduate students who are looking for a quick lecture that's all for my review on heart embryology, anatomy, blood supply and histology. If you liked it, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget to watch my other videos. Bye bye for now. Take care.